to another railway routes. Today we're taking a look at the Flantrissant to Taft Vale Junction Railway. Whilst we get set up down near Pontycloon Station, I would make a recommendation you take a good look at the Wikipedia entry. That's uh, full of detail. As always, we're trying to stay away from the network rail uh, property. We're flying at 50 meters, and we're certainly going to steer clear of this high tension cables just to our front. section which is heavily overgrown now there's a, a lot of concrete sleepers and metals still lying around all over this site to the right here in the track you can see where the sleeper panels are still leaving their mark. Just to the left, we have a track panel which was buried uh, when they demolished the line, so it's still there. As we approach Ely Bridge, there's some signalling still uh, remaining, as there is a portal as well. It's quite a structure obviously built for twin tracks, broad gauge. But the track continues unbroken all the way to the other side of the A473. So it's quite a long stretch of tracks still in situ. This would be ideal for a heritage railway to get their act together. point the Ely Valley line continued off to the left now completely built over with houses. The colliery line as you can see has metal still in the road moved off to the right and a lot of the railway paraphernalia still remains at this point. Note the uh, covered section of the footbridge to stop people throwing things onto the trains two of the routes so we'll stop the flight at this point and the rest of it will continue in section two. 